Greetings, fellow mathematicians. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve a second order ODE with constant coefficients. So A, B, and C here are constants. They're our coefficients. And the other name for this type of ODE is since the right hand side is zero, this is sometimes called a homogeneous ODE. A little bit later, we'll have videos for how to solve non-homogeneous ODEs. This is going to be an overview of the three different types of solutions you get to one of these. We always start with exponential functions as our solutions. So we start with a basic function here. That's what we're assuming is a solution of the form y equals e to the rx, where r is some number. Now, to determine the values of r, called the characteristic roots, we want to plug this in to the ODE, but we're going to need the first and second derivatives in addition to the y term. So let's calculate the derivatives using the chain rule. Chain rule is going to give you a factor of r from differentiating e to the rx. And we differentiate this again, we'll get another factor of r giving us r squared. All right, we're going to take all three of these, plug them into our second order ODE. And what we're going to notice is every single term in that differential equation contains an e to the rx, so we can factor it out. And since our goal is to solve for r, and we know an exponential function never equals 0, we can divide by it and we'll get what we are calling the characteristic equation, which will give us the solutions for r. And that is this part here, a r squared plus b r plus c equals zero. All right, now even though we're learning about differential equations, calc 4 content, this is actually really easy to solve. If you take a look at that, that is a quadratic equation in R, and we know how to solve that. If you're on top of your algebra, you probably can recall that a given quadratic equation has three possibilities for solutions. And the first, is you could get two real solutions. And let's go ahead and call them R1 and R2. If those are your two values for the characteristic roots R, plug them back in here. Each value of R gives you a different exponential function. So our solution to the ODE Looks like that, a linear combination of your two exponential functions for each value of r that you get. Now there's another possibility to solving that quadratic equation for r. You could get a repeated real solution. And that's basically, if you factor this, maybe you have a term that's squared, giving you one value for r, or your quadratic equation. So we're going to call that a repeated root. And let's call that r. In this case, you do get an exponential function, e to the rx, for that value of r. But there's another solution that we're going to find with a method called reduction of order in a, another video. So your solution here you do get your exponential function e to the rx, 
but your second linearly independent solution, what you might call y2, is your exponential function multiplied by a factor of x. And again, in a, another video, we'll explain why or where that factor of x comes from. All right, there's one last possibility from your algebra courses. You probably recall a given quadratic equation can give complex roots or complex solutions. And that's the third possibility. And we're going to write this in the form of a complex number. Your values for r look like a number a plus or minus b times i, where i square root of negative 1. All right, now those are two different values for r, one with the plus, one with the minus. And usually we don't like to use complex or imaginary numbers in exponential functions. In another video, we'll explain how we can use Euler's formula to arrive at this form for the solution in this case. Here, we're just gonna write that down. And you get a combination of exponential functions multiplied by trig functions. So here, A, we might call that the real part, and B, sometimes called the imaginary part. So we're gonna plug in the real part to the exponential term, and then the imaginary part to the trig term. All right, the second linearly independent solution is very similar, but with, instead of sine of bx, cosine of bx. And that is our third and final possibility. With practice, you can go from your differential equation to the characteristic equation very quickly. And a quadratic formula or quadratic equation should take you all of maybe 30 seconds to solve. So this should go really quick, and you just plug them into your three different types of solutions, which are good to memorize at this point. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel.